Minecraft's April Fool's updates. They're a long time standing tradition now that Mojang does every year by releasing a joke snapshot, sort of. And I've noticed a change in attitude that the community has towards these over the years, especially with more and more people getting upset over modern Minecraft updates. People seem to be disliking the April Fool's updates now, saying things like, oh, the up, the April Fool's update is bigger than the actual update, which this year is certainly true, but bigger doesn't mean better, of course. But I do agree that there needs to be change with these April Fool's updates. This year's one in particular, it it left a bit of a sting, a, a sour taste. You get the idea. It, this was kind of the tipping point for me, at least, that Mojang needs to change how they are going about doing these updates. See, with this update, the poisonous potato update... They added a lot of things, like a lot. It's all potato-fied, but the functionality of a lot of the things in the update are actually very cool, and a lot of them are things that the community's been asking for is the kind of worst thing. Why that's bad is because, of course, these updates aren't actually coming to the game. They're just for one snapshot as a little joke it almost felt like mojang was mocking or making fun of the community with this one you know dangling these features that people want in front of their faces like oh you can't have it but we can make it but we're just not gonna release it in an update (laughs) but i don't think that's what mojang means of course That's just how it kind of comes off to some people. And I understand why. Because, like I said, these there are really cool features in this April Fool's snapshot. Features that are honestly, to me at least, in my opinion, way better than a lot of the things that we have in 1.21 right now. Like, some of these literally revolutionize engineering like which is especially bad since you know part of 1.21's focus was supposed to be on engineering and it it has been extremely lackluster in that regard so yeah we'll get into the features here and i want to start with the big one that has a lot of people upset it's called the float hater because, of course, it's a potato fight thing. But this block is so cool and so important. It lets you make moving vehicles, basically. Like something that the Create Clockwork and Valkyrie and Skies mods do, basically, but in a more vanilla friendly way. I Like, I'm not talking about like redstone slime piston vehicles that move really slowly in one direction for all of eternity like you can assemble a regular looking vehicle and push it in whatever direction with this like you can make actual moving ships it's insane and they coded it for this april fool's snapshot they they could just change the name give it a different texture and release in 1.21 of course they would also have to do some bug fixes with it do some balancing and bring it over to bedrock but they have the base code already and there is uh one redeeming thing here that i'll talk about at the end after all of these features but let's go through some more like the grappling hook this is one of the things that felt kind of like a jab at the community because uh, after the weapon teaser for the mace, people were speculating that we might have a grappling hook in 1.21 
because of the vertical movement of the trial chambers, it felt like it would fit well. It really was just kind of uh, unbacked speculation. There wasn't much in particular to suggest that other than the death message of the player falling from a high height. But still, it feels like they were maybe making fun of the community, but still... The feature itself is incredible. Again, potato-ified. But it works. It works really well. And it's really fun. And it's a really helpful movement item. Maybe even an alternative to Elytra. Which a lot of people still think are too overpowered. Like, this could be like something you unlock late game in the end or something. In fact, a lot of these features feel like things that would be late game unlocked in the end. Maybe hinting at what the next major update will be. But there's, it's clear that the developers put a lot of time into this April Fool's snapshot. Like, there's also an entirely new terrain generation system, from what I can tell, for the Sky Islands. It's not the same as the end. They have layers which could maybe be a teaser for a new terrain generation in the end, in an end update next year, because, you know, people have said that the island generation is kind of stale. It's just a flat line of islands out in four directions. So maybe they're working on this terrain generation system. But the point is, is that they put a lot of time into something like that. There's also a new boss. It's not really an important thing, but it feels once again like they're maybe just, you know, poking fun at insulting the community for the new boss speculation, which would be more rude because the develop that speculation of the new boss really wasn't. People call that crazy speculation, but it really wasn't. Mojang confirmed that they wanted to add a new boss they were planning to in that short all the way, what, like a year ago, something like that now, and it would have fit perfectly within 1.21, and then there were some other things uh, to suggest that it wasn't crazy speculation is my point. You know, we used to get new bosses in Minecraft, it's been a really long time now, but that used to not be considered crazy But then there's also, there's so much more in the snapshot. Like, there's new custom sounds for the mobs, all a bunch of new blocks, a new villager path generation, even more cool new items like being able to make portals with an item. Uh, There was also a hammer, so like maybe they're experimenting with a new weapon type, uh, but... My point is, bottom line here, they spent a lot of time on this. And this is proved further by the frying table. It (laughs) This was teased all the way back in December. Really early December. They were working on this probably in December. Unless that was just a massive coincidence with them having a tab open named frying table. I don't know why they would. Everything else that was on the screen basically was uh, features that they were working on for Minecraft next to that tab anyway. So, yeah, they that's like five months that they'd been working on this April Fool's snapshot. Like, it's a running joke now that Uh, The developers spend all their time on the April Fool's snapshot. They forget about the main update. But five months, and they could have been working on it even four to five months. They could have been working on it even longer. That's insane for a joke that isn't going to actually be added to the game when the main updates themselves are already so small, why? It's just a waste of time. It's a waste of resources. And it doesn't make sense. It's just not right. It, it's something that needs to change. Especially the 
teasing the community. I don't know if that was intentional. It really might not have been. But that is just partly how it came across with some of the things. But the point is, is that just this is not a good way to go about making updates to spend so much time on just a joke when I mean I love a you know I love a good joke they can still do April Fool's snapshots just at this extent is ridiculous it's a massive snapshot it's like everything that the community's been wanting a new dimension a new boss a grappling hook moving vehicles all of these cool new items new weapons and then potato if i had to make it look like a joke even though there was clearly a lot of work and time and effort still put into it that's now mostly going to be going to waste some of it's probably uh the developers experimenting for next year's update or updates further down the line like a lot of this seems like uh, stuff they could be using for an end update but this isn't right still it's just this update is several times the size of 1.21 and that doesn't mean it's better but like i said earlier there are things that i would rather have over 1.21 here like depotatoified the grappling hook and the flotator whatever it's called I would take that over 1.21. I know that's a matter of opinion, but these items really are just kind of cool, unique items that people have been wanting this sort of thing for so long. And then Mojang kind of dangles it in front of our faces like, you know, like a carrot on a stick, if you want to say that. But we're not going to have it. Some of these features might come to the game in some better form later on in the next update, but this is, to wrap things up, Mojang needs to stop focusing so much on the April Fool's updates. I don't, we don't know the exact numbers of how much time they spend on it, but it's too far. It's just too far for a joke. And it's, re- I mean, again, December, I think, uh, like, really early December that the frying table was initially leaked. That's ridiculous. This needs to change. It does. But finally, that's all for this video. I know some of the things I said here might be controversial to some people, but... I hope I made my case well. I feel free to leave your own opinions and thoughts in the comments. I just feel like this is something that needs to change with the relation between the community and Mojang that is ever-changing and getting ever worse, honestly. 1.21 seems to maybe be mending it a bit, I hope. But that's all i it helps me a ton to subscribe i hope to see you in another video if you like enjoy this video leave a like and goodbye